circus elephant rampage. Our KGMB9 team coverage begins with video from inside the arena where the African elephant breaks loose and kills a trainer. We warn you, a portion of this video is violent and disturbing. The story comes to a head on Ilani Y Street where police bring the elephant down with bullets. All of this raising questions about circus security and animal rights. Now we have interviews from witnesses and updates on the dozen or so people injured. I'm Dave Carlin. Terry Okita has the evening off. The KGMB 9 News Update begins in just a few moments. KGMB 9 News Update. This circus elephant is shot and killed by police on a Honolulu street after killing its trainer, trampling people, and just rampaging along the streets of Honolulu. This deadly and startling sideshow begins around 4 this afternoon during a performance of Circus International. Spectators with cameras catch it all on videotape, and you can see a portion of that in just a moment, but be warned, the video is graphically violent, disturbing, and may not be suitable for children and some adults. We make an effort to be family sensitive when it comes to airing scenes of violence, in this case, the management at KGMB9 believes it is necessary to show the full extent of the animal's behavior prior to its being killed. That said, here's a portion of the tape. We are likely to see portions of that shocking video on national television as this story gains worldwide attention. Joining us now is reporter Angela Keene, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the story behind that video. You can even hear some of the kids screaming while that video is going on. What a, a horrible scene for, for kids and adults to witness. It was, and Dave, uh, the first thing I saw was chaos there on the scene. There were people giving each other hugs, uh, crying. People were searching for their loved ones. We also talked to a Japanese family who captured the frightening moment on tape. It was something that looked like a movie. An elephant rampages through the circus arena, trampling his trainers, scaring hundreds inside. Ultimately, the African elephant thunder beats through the city of Honolulu. Again, as we mentioned just a short while ago, be warned that these scenes are extremely extremely violent and not suitable for everyone. It started out as a happy circus show for many families like the Tetsuya Niibori family visiting from Japan. But that happy show turned out to be a nightmare. The Niiboris captured the entire incident with their own video camera. What you're about to see is the home video they took as it all happened. Children like nine-year-old Adrian Cassidy and her brother, Michael, describe what they saw from the second row. Well, this elephant came from behind and he started going crazy and the, there was a guy who tried to stop him and the elephant knocked him down. And then this other guy tried, came from the side and knocked him down too. And me and my brother, we ran out the front door and then we went into the convention on the other side and my dad saw us screaming and then they got the elephant under control after we ran out. But he came through the front door and it's all messed up now. He was going to trample over everything and run really fast. That was pretty scary, huh? Yeah. Emergency medical technicians say the first ambulance arrived on the scene just a minute after the emergency call was made. We always prepare for this sort of thing, but uh, we always practice, but we don't have it uh, to come and play very often. So as far as our crews are concerned, we, they handle it very, very well. Uh, I think the instant command system worked fine, and the, with the fire department's assistance, uh, the situation was well, well in hand. Emergency officials say eight ambulances responded to Blaisdell. That's um, quite a few ambulances, and they said they responded within minutes. Yeah, they were right on the scene, as we saw. You know, you're speaking to a lot of kids there, and I was just amazed at how uh, 
well composed they seem to be. The children that we spoke to seem to be, yes, well composed. And the fact was, they said they were really relieved because they said they were told that the, the elephant was under control. And that, that girl that we spoke to, she said she was glad that the elephant was under control and it made her feel relieved. She knew she could sleep tonight. Well, I know that that's a story we're following up for tomorrow to take a look at how these kids overcome a, seeing such a traumatic thing right in front of their eyes. We also want to talk a little bit about the victims and how they're doing tonight. Do you have any idea of how their conditions are? Well, the elephant trainer died shortly after being admitted to Queens Medical Center. Uh, the 20-year-old assistant trainer is now in fair condition. He's fighting for his life. All 14 cir circus goers admitted to various hospitals are reported to be in stable condition tonight. Some of them could be released. Well, thanks for that report, Angela. And our team coverage continues. With the elephant out of the Blaisdell and on the streets, there is chaos. KGMB 9's Kyle Meenan picks up the story from here. He, along with photographers Chris Gapik, Glenn Tangon, and George Hurd, rushed to the scene to get these images and file this report on the elephant chase, the shooting and aftermath, and we want to point out again that there is a violent element to this video. Outside Police Dill Arena, paramedics worked feverishly on one of the unidentified victims. Meanwhile, down the street on Ward Avenue, the elephant was running free, being chased by police driving their Cushmans and openly firing on the animal. After a chase that lasted over a half mile in distance, the elephant was finally cornered on Elani Y. It was at that point police made the decision to open fire. <laughs> Dozens of rounds from a pump shotgun and other weapons were fired into the animal. Ken Redmond is the director of the Honolulu Zoo. As you saw the tape that, that we've all seen, mm -hmm. you recognize certain behaviors in that elephant. What were they? Uh, kicking and throwing and trying to do either a headstand or a, a gore. Are there explanations? Do people know why animals suddenly do this? Uh, if we knew that, we certainly wouldn't have its instances like that. Uh, what we do know is that generally these things don't snap all at once. You do get warnings in advance that in your training, in your work with the elephant, all of a sudden you're getting some resistance. We have two elephants at the Honolulu Zoo. Is it safe? Yes, absolutely no problem. We have not had the, the slightest instance of any sort of problem yet, and, but we're constantly watching, constantly on our guard. And, says Redmond, the question will remain for investigators to find out if this particular elephant had been acting up in recent times. I'm Kyle Meenan, KGMB 9 News. The elephant's body was removed from the scene on Ilani Y Street about 15 minutes ago. As for the circus, the show did go on tonight. Circus goers were being let in for tonight's late evening performance. Naturally, we will be following up on the many safety and security questions raised by today's events. And there is more Hawaii news after a break. It's just about back to school time. What went wrong yesterday at the circus? Investigators search for clues. The family of the animal trainer killed in the elephant rampage says he died a hero. And President Clinton claims victory as the crime bill... And thanks so much for joining us. I'm Barbara Wallace. I'm Kirk Matthews, and this is the late news for Sunday, the 21st of August. An afternoon of terror that left one man dead and a number of people injured has also left a lot of uh, questions unanswered. An investigation is underway to determine why Tyke the Elephant went on a rampage yesterday and who is responsible for the damage that ensued? Nalani Blaisdell reports. The image of a four and a half ton elephant mauling a trainer, running through Honolulu streets, and being gunned down by Honolulu police is indelibly etched in the minds of people here. What led the elephant to go berserk? The elephant's owner says a novice apprentice groom stepped behind Tyke before she was to go on stage, a move elephant strongly disliked. Tyke whirled around uh, and uh, swung at him, and Alan came to try and take Tyke off of him. Um, I don't think uh, Tyke would ever hurt Alan. 
if he hadn't been trying to protect this boy. Trainer Alan Campbell was killed. The apprentice groom is at the Queens Medical Center in fair condition. The Humane Society is investigating. We want to find out whether the animal was trained uh, properly and not in a uh, punitive manner. Uh, we have some people who have told us they thought the uh, trainer looked angry earlier in the week when he was uh, doing something with the animal. Circus representatives say Tyke had no past history of violence, but this animal handler indicated otherwise. He can't kind of hardly control her. She did it already before when they came down here. A necropsy on the elephant was performed here at the Department of Agriculture's quarantine station. Scientists found no signs of any disease or condition that would explain the elephant's aberrant behavior. The bottom line is that, you know, we really don't know why the elephant uh, went on a rampage as far as, you know, any organic disease. The Department of Agriculture says all animal importers sign permits accepting liabilities. Well, the way the permit is written now, the importer accepts liability for any damages. Uh, that occurs for these animals. Uh, in this case, the importer um, is uh, Circus International or it may be the individual promoter. The promoter is Honolulu attorney Roy Mpuku. Meanwhile, the Humane Society is calling for an end to elephants in entertainment. I believe that uh, wild animals belong in the wild. They don't need to be set up in a circus to do something they don't is against their very nature. The indications are at this time, and we don't know for sure yet, that the circus people were not prepared for something like this to happen. John Cuneo says trainer Alan Campbell was considered one of the nation's best. A local family today held a memorial service for 21-year-old Tyke. She was brought to the U.S. from Africa for life in the circus. Nalani Blaisdell, Channel 2 News. The trainer who was killed in yesterday's elephant attack will be remembered as a hero, a man who sacrificed his own life for a co-worker, and that makes his family proud. Deborah Alexander spoke to his family in Jacksonville, Florida. I guess he just fell in love with him. Ellen's father, Herbert Campbell, knows Alan chose his unique career because it was something he enjoyed. And it was something he was very good at doing. Alan had been training elephants for the past 20 years. During that time, he made a name for himself in the industry as one of the best. He successfully worked with some of the meanest elephants around. Yeah, we, we were aware of the fact that one of them might get him someday. But we was always, Lord, as I got it. And with God on our side, we always give the factor that the Lord take care of him. Allen's family has seen the home video of Allen's death. While it's horrifying for them to watch, they say it shows Allen putting everyone else first. That's why he was killed, because he was committed 100% to the welfare of that animal and to the welfare of the people that were around. Only somebody that's sold out and committed to something will put their line on, life on the line. And if anything, I'm proud that my brother still had the honor to put his life on the line for something he believes in because there's not enough of that today. Alan Campbell leaves behind a wife and two children. Parents whose children may have watched the events at the circus and on the streets of Kaka'ako should talk to their kids. That's the advice of a child psychologist at Kapiolani Medical Center. Dr. Roger Hamada says the best way to deal with children who may have seen or experienced potentially traumatic events is to bring them out into the open. Parents should be supportive and ready to listen to their children, reassure them, um, give them a little bit more leeway than they might ordinarily live. Hamada says youngsters should overcome the distress within a matter of days, but adds if they continue to exhibit emotional distress after a couple of months, parents should seek professional help for their children. Acting Mayor Jeremy Harris says the city will offer free counseling for spectators who may have been traumatized by the elephant rampage. An animal rights group says the time has come to put a stop to using animals as circus performers. Animal Rights Hawaii will go to court tomorrow to file lawsuits against Circus International, the owners of the elephants, and the city to prevent any more accidents. Manolo Morales reports. Supporters of Animal Rights Hawaii returned to the site where Circus Elephant Tyke was gunned down. The president of the group says the elephant is not to blame for the tragedy. She blames what she says is the inhumane treatment most circus animals receive. They're shackled often 22 out of 24 hours, are routinely deprived of food and water, made to wear stupid costumes, and this is considered wholesome family fun. 
People watched in horror as the events unfolded, leading ultimately to the death of the 21-year-old elephant. Gogol says there aren't any laws that can prevent this accident from happening again, so they're filing a lawsuit tomorrow. William Sink, the attorney for Animal Rights Hawaii, says the main purpose of the lawsuit is to ban all animal acts from the circus. The attorney says the city must be held partially responsible. They have some control over this. They had this thing at the Blaisdell. They knew these things were going to happen, and I don't think that they did ad anything adequate to, to protect the lives of the citizens that got, got hurt in this thing. Well, I don't think the city uh, is responsible. I think all due care was taken. Uh, certainly this was not something that could have been predicted. Circus International is scheduled to perform next in Hilo, but without the Elephant Act. Manola Morales, Channel 2 News.